For the former president, he's now distancing himself from the controversial Project 2025. Howdy, my fellow Americans. This is T-Pain USA, and welcome to yet another episode of a really American T-Cast. It seems like every time we turn around today, we're hearing about this Project 2025. Democrats keep saying it's Nazi Germany all over again, while Trump claims he ain't even heard of it. Now, truth be told, it's 920 pages long, so good luck getting Trump to read it. Heck, you can't even get MAGA to read the entire Second Amendment, and that's only one run on sentence. Now, if you know T-Pain, he likes to break things down into small, easy-to-chew pieces. So today, we're going to distill Project 2025 down to four easy-to-nibble small plates, like at them fancy restaurants. So tuck in your napkin, and let's just dig in, shall we? This 920-page document would usher in the most conservative executive branch in modern American history, if enacted. It's called Project 2025. Its pages offer new administrations a blueprint for executing a right-wing agenda, from purging the government of thousands of civil servants to dismantling the Department of Education. We do have to initiate the largest mass deportation project in the history of this country. T-Pain will never lie to you. Project 2025 is a complex series of issues. To best understand this complicated series of issues, let's just frame it in an old story we learned in Sunday school, and that's the story of Samson and Delilah. If you remember, Samson was the champion of Israel, whose superhuman strength came from his impressive, long, flowing, beautiful head of hair. Israel's mortal enemy, the Philistines shook and trembled in Samson's presence and always ran like a herd of scalded cats every time he'd roll up. Growing tired of one defeat after the other, the Philistines finally figured out Samson's weakness and they commissioned a sultry Delilah to seduce him. The minute he laid eyes on hers, folks, he was whooped. He said, hey there, Delilah, what's it like in Philistine City? Before you know it, he was head over heels in love and all he could say was, what you do to me, oh, what you do to me. Now, one morning, while he was sleeping off an afterglow, them Philistines snatched him up, cut his hair, and burned his eyes out with a hot poker. Bald and blind and bound in chains, Samson was no longer a threat. So you see, the comparison here is really pretty easy. Samson is our democracy, and the Philistines... They're the Republican Party. Now, they were fine with democracy as long as only white people were using it. But once minorities got access, it was time for that rascal to be gone with the wind. All they needed was a ruthless Delilah to seduce American voters by appealing to their worst instincts. And they found that tempting scoundrel in old Donald Trump. And the same father of lies that worked his will through the wily Delilah now frames Trump's thinly veiled promises to give democracy a haircut and once powerless, poke out its eyes and throw it in the deepest, darkest prison. <laughs> you folks are probably asking yourself, T-Pain, where are you going with this? What's this got to do with Project 2025? Well, just bear up another minute because this is where our stories merge. The project has four main pillars, a policy plan, a personnel database, an online academy, and a playbook for the president's first 180 days in office. Well, ain't that a kick in the pants? We see now that Project 2025 is broken up into four pillars. And you know, it's kind of ironic because they brought old Samson into the Philistine temple to mock him in front of the whole town, and that temple was said to rest on four main pillars, just like Project 2025. So our job, folks, just like old Samson, is to get into a position where we can get our hands on them pillars and start to push and push until the pillars crumble and the whole house comes tumbling down. The first pillar is a policy agenda that focuses on dismantling the so-called administrative state, or what some conservatives call the deep state. Either the deep state destroys America or we destroy the deep state. Donald, Donald. Is the deep state in the room with you now? Blink once for yes or twice for no. Folks, the deep state for Donald Trump's kind of like the weather. 
He's always talking about it, but he never does anything about it. That is, until Project 2025. Let's see some more about this first pillar. Dismantling the administrative state means purging the civil workforce of tens of thousands of federal employees and replacing them with conservative pre-vetted picks. <laughs> we used to call that bringing in the ringers. Trump's vision is to fill the federal government with a bunch of heiny smooching yes men. Sprinkled, of course, with an occasional yes woman, provided she's an eight or hotter. Trump intends to remake a bloated bureaucracy into his own image. And he will do that by creating a litmus test that is essentially one question and one question only. What do you reckon that question might be? So tired of bots. The plan would dismantle the Department of Homeland Security, eliminate the Department of Education entirely, and transform the FBI into a political task force that is accountable to the president. We just stopped blowing on the fur, and now we're getting to the hide. Getting rid of the Department of Education would be, by definition, a no-brainer. Brain? Education? No-brainer? No nobody? Well, you see, getting rid of the Department of Education in a MAGA society makes all the sense in the world. Because the last thing they want voters to have is an education. You keep them dumb, and they'll keep voting Trump. All righty, let's deal with the FBI next. As you saw in that last clip, Trump wants to make the FBI into his own personal police force to execute his political agenda. It's kind of like a fire department that starts fires instead of putting them out. And you know... That got T-Pain to thinking. You remember that, that little Austrian fellow with the funny mustache that created his own personal police force to execute his political agenda? Like T-Pain was saying, there was this little Austrian fellow with a, with a mustache, and he was trying to create, well, he did. He created his own personal police force to execute his own political We'll catch that critter one day. The playbook also outlines a plan to bring many federal agencies, like the Department of Justice, under more direct presidential control. What Project 2025 articulates is the idea that the president should be the one directing the activities of the Department of Justice, even if that means that the president will not be investigated or that the DOJ will be sent to attack the president's political enemies. We will root out the communists, Marxists, fascists, and the radical left thugs that live like vermin within the confines of our country. Now we get to the juicy part. Trump wants to eliminate the Department of Homeland Security? Don't that take the rag off the bush? Fun fact, the Department of Homeland Security was created in 2003 during the George W. Bush administration, a Republican, to combat foreign terrorists that wanted to attack America. But now that the real terrorists are American citizens living on American soil and voting for Donald John Trump, they're ready to tear it all down. Looks like the bank robbers want to get rid of the security cameras. Folks, if you're even remotely amused by any of these videos T-Pain's making, take just a second and head over to Amazon.com and search for T-Pain USA in books, and you'll find out T-Pain's got two two political bestsellers to offer. Check them out. Pillar two, personnel database. The Heritage Foundation has already contracted the technology company Oracle to build this database, kind of like a conservative networking platform. We've recruited Americans all over the country, and so we've had well over 11,000 people who've applied to be considered by the next president and his administration. Trump really emphasizes loyalty, and you see those practices now being adopted by Project 2025, where you fill out a form that essentially indicates if you are loyal to President Trump or not. Now, if you folks are thinking this sounds like some plot line from one of them 50 sci-fi cult films, you ain't alone. Imagine that. Trump's already got 11,000 pre-vetted, wide-eyed, mouth-breathing, knuckle-dragging, Heine kissing replicants ready to waltz in on day one and take over all the critical stations of the federal human infrastructure. Now, T-Pain's got something extra special to share with you folks. The really American team has spared no expense and has commissioned a top secret 
black ops, artificial intelligence team to project exactly what the first day of a second Trump term will look like as these 11,000 MAGA sleeper agents are released into our democracy's ecosystem. Check this out. With Red Bank families, the context, go to truck number two, Hilltop, the third truck, Dolly Springs, the third truck, Dolly Springs. You got to ask yourself, who assembles a complete manifesto in advance, laying out in excruciating detail their dastardly plot to destroy the great American experiment? People that believe the American voters won't take them seriously. That's who. And folks, if we don't take them seriously, we're going to sound just like this on that fateful day. There's Chinatown and all the towns around us. It's a malignant disease spreading through the whole country. Will America survive Project 2025? Will the altar of democracy become a desolation of abomination where the ideals we have held dear for two and a half centuries will be sacrificed and replaced with the graven image of a golden ass? To get the answer to these and other burning questions, stay tuned for part two of this video.